Hi, in this problem we're going to rationalize the denominator. We have the square root of 8x to the fifth over 7y cubed. So in order to do this, we have to make the bottom piece squared. So to do that, we just have to multiply by something that will make this squared because if you have the square root of say u squared, that's going to be equal to u. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write this again, square root of, let's go ahead and write the eight as two cubed. That way it's written as a product of primes so that might be beneficial. And then here we have x to the fifth. All right. And you can write this x to the fifth in a nicer way also, but we'll come back to that. So here we have 7y cubed. So now we want to make the bottom squared. So I'll multiply by 7y over 7y. And the reason that works is the following. 7 times 7 is 7 squared. Okay, so we'll have 2 cubed times 7 x to the fifth y, that's the numerator. On the bottom, we'll have 7 squared. And then y cubed times y is y to the fourth. But that's really y squared squared. y squared squared. So this becomes square root of. Let's go ahead and start cleaning the numerator up. So in the numerator, we want to keep all the squared pieces. So 2 cubed will be 2 squared. I'll borrow 2 squared from that. And then x to the 5, I'm going to write that as x squared squared. That's really x to the fourth. That leaves us with 7xy. Let me explain that. So for the 2 cubed, uh, oh, and the 2. So for the two cubed, we wrote that as two squared times two. For the seven, we have the seven. X to the five is X squared squared. That's X to the fourth, and we have the X, and the Y hangs out. All of this is over seven Y squared squared. So pretty messy. So now we can just take the square root of each piece in the numerator. So taking the square root of this, we're gonna get two. Taking the square root of this, we're going to get x squared. Then we'll have a square root left. Um, 2 times 7 is 14, xy. And then on the bottom, we're going to have 7y squared. Yikes. So lots of ways to arrive at the same answer. Um, this was just one way. So this step here might have been a little confusing, but hopefully it made some sense. Good luck.